Hey, my good friends, Sam Haymart for Test Driven TV at the LA Auto Show. The exciting new Nissan Kicks compact crossover SUV made its debut, jumping into the pool with a lot of big heavy hitters out there in the market. Well, I guess small heavy hitters since it's compact. Nonetheless, our first full look is coming right up. Going on sale this spring, the 2018 Nissan Kicks rolls into Nissan showrooms as their sixth crossover SUV at the entry level of the lineup and replacing the Juke, which has occupied that space since 2010. A vehicle already on sale in other markets, Nissan tells us the Kicks will be aggressively priced as a value choice in the market. It's indeed compact, rolling on a 103-inch wheelbase yet tall like a crossover SUV. This puts it squarely in the crosshairs of the new Hyundai Kona, also unveiled at the LA Auto Show, as well as others like the Ford EcoSport, Toyota CHR, Honda HRV, and the Chevrolet Trax. Styling is cute and pugnacious, but not nearly as daring and quirky as the Nissan Juke it replaces. It has a more angular and straight-lined approach than we've seen in other Nissan designs, but retaining family DNA like the V-Motion grille, boomerang headlights and taillights, and the floating roof theme. It rides high like an SUV, but really shouldn't be considered one much as its competitors. It comes only with front-wheel drive and has a 7-inch ground clearance, which Nissan says in their press materials is good for city experiences like deep potholes and speed bumps. That does induce a laugh or chuckle, but in some cities there's some credence to that. And aimed at city slickers the kicks is, urban youth who want something more from a basic level car, something with room and something with an extra level of capability, not necessarily a high performance car with enthusiast leanings. Thus, powering the kicks is a rather mundane collection of moving parts, a 1.6 liter four cylinder engine with 125 horsepower and Nissan's venerable Xtronic continuously variable transmission. That's a CVT. As such, Nissan tells us it'll achieve up to 33 mpg combined. That's actually not that bad. Chassis bits too are nothing to compare to a Volkswagen Golf. Here, we've got a strut front suspension and a twist beam rear axle, front disc brakes and rear drum brakes. Style is where Nissan is really getting its kicks. Yeah, I know, it's a bad pun, sorry. It'll be offered with optional two-tone color combinations and a variety of wheel choices to really spice it up. Wheels start out with 16-inch steelies and range up to 17-inch alloys on the upper of its three trim grades. The cabin, it's been upgraded from its more basic counterparts sold in other countries to offer up a more quality trim and material content and an upmarket style that, well, I think most customers here in the United States are going to expect. For us Yanks, center stage is an available 7-inch touchscreen infotainment system available with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, something Nissan is finally getting into. You can also option up a higher-end Bose system that features a lot more zoot than you might expect in this class. Other niceties like a 360-degree around-view monitor are also available. Pricing for the 2018 Nissan Kicks will be announced closer to launch, expected to be June of 2018. I think when we see the pricing, it's actually going to be quite aggressive. Nissan has said this is a value play, and by all appearances, that is exactly what it is. And that's a good thing in the market. We need vehicles that are affordable and not so overloaded with everything that makes them expensive. So might very well be refreshing. Until then, click right here, see everything we've covered at the LA Auto Show, our full playlist, a lot of great vehicles, and another compact crossover or two that will compete against this. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel right there and see everything we do.